This is a tarot reading about Aaron Carter and the circumstances of his passing. Aaron Carter. Hello. Good morning, you guys. I read in the comments from the last video that I did when I did take off tarot reading that you guys wanted me to do a reading on Aaron Carter. Okay. Because people believe that it wasn't an accident. People don't really believe that it was an accident. I'm not sure. I have not pulled cards on the situation yet. So this will be the first time. But he was a substance user and had issues with substance abuse. And it kind of low-key is giving like Whitney Houston vibes. Rest in peace of Whitney Houston. Um, you know, these celebs... I don't even want to... Okay, we're going to leave that alone. I'd ask you to clear the energy and just bring truth and clarity for his fans and his family about this situation. I was to have a true, accurate reading. What happened... To Aaron Carter and was he was it an accident or was it something that they tried to plan to be an accident did he have an accident so suicide because suicide just simply means that someone unalive themselves and you can have an accidental you know suicide as well by accident so let's see what comes out. Get this information on the day that Aaron passed away. Was it an accident? Did was it an accident or is it deeper than that? Okay. We have the Two of Wands, which talks about two paths, decisions, options, planning, grass is in greener on the other side. Okay, trying to decide whether to stay to go. Restlessness, detachment. It talks about choices, you know, making a choice. What was the choice? Was it his choice? Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles, which talks about holding on to people, possessions, issues, deep-seated past issues, stinginess, control. It talks about, you know, trying to hold on to, like, your money or just trying to hold on to things, you know. If you're talking about money, it's like you, you're trying to save, you know, you ain't trying to give out, you know, your money. Um, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse, which talks about unrequited love, someone that's a heartbreaker, someone that's manipulative, maybe someone that, um, cheats or does one night stands. Ooh. Um, we have that energy. Let's see. And then we have the Ace of Swords, which talks about new ideas, plans, Intellectual ability, victory, success, mental clarity, clear thinking, breakthroughs, the ability to concentrate, realizing the truth, vision, force, and focus. <clears throat> and then we have the Seven of Cups. <clears throat> Which talks about lots of options, choices, multiple possibilities, opportunities, picking and choosing, illusion, wishful thinking. <clears throat> Maybe he, he had choices that he, you know, that he made that could have caused this accident to, to happen. This reading is a lot about choices. 
so far, making making decisions and, and choices so far. These might have been his choices that he made, possibly what his drug use. Did Aaron do this? Was this an accident? Was this an accident? Or, or was it planned? Was this planned or was was it an accident? Did someone try to do this to him and make it look like it was something that wasn't? Or is it simply what it is, <clears throat> an accident from drug use? <clears throat> the Tower. It talks about resisting change, averting a disaster, avoiding tragedy, delaying the inevitable, avoiding loss. <clears throat> okay. Upright, the tower says chaos, destruction, sudden uphill, trauma, unexpected change, disaster, tragedy, revelations, pain, divorce, abuse, violence, bankruptcy, <clears throat> and that's the disasters. So this talks about resisting the change over the disaster, delaying the inevitable, trying to avoid loss. And maybe this is simply happened and it was simply, you know, maybe this is something that they, he, he tried to like get, get a control over, <clears throat> but couldn't because of his addiction issues that it possibly would have happened if it didn't happen today. Maybe it would have possibly happened at a later time. <clears throat> What else can what else can be said about the night or the morning that this happened? The sun in reverse, lack of enthusiasm, sadness, unrealistic expectations, ego, conceded it, <clears throat> oppression. <clears throat> the page of swords, bad, bit disappointing news, lack of ideas, or lack of planning, a defensive player. <clears throat> was he alone was he alone when this happened was there anybody around him at the time he passed was he alone <clears throat> the chariot it talks about in reverse Forcefulness, lack of direction, lack of control, powerlessness, aggression, coercion. The Hierophant. <coughs> Traditional institutions, values, commitment, beliefs, knowledge sharing, social groups, education, knowledge and beliefs. And the Eight of Swords, feeling trapped, restricted, back into a corner. Hands tied, victimized, paralyzed by fear, anxiety, feeling pressure, hopelessness, powerless, silence, a crisis. The Empress in reverse. Insecurity, infertility, lack of confidence, overbearing tendencies, disharmony, negligence. Can you let's see? Clarify the Eight of Swords that he was feeling trapped. Was he feeling trapped on his own accord or did he feel 
what was he feeling trapped about? What was, why do you feel trapped? eight of pentacles um a new job he was working on something <clears throat> he felt trapped because maybe he was working on something um reputation craftsmanship working master expertise hard work um he was working he was working on something but he f why did he feel trapped about it we got this knight of pentacles impatient lazy Lack of common sense, unstable, unskilled, unreliable, disloyal. <clears throat> he might have had someone around. Give me his, give me Aaron Carter's energy with this Eight of Swords and this Eight of Cups. Give me his energy. The devil talks about addictions, depression, mental health issues, secrecy, obsession. Hopelessness, possibly abuse or violence. <clears throat> this had to do with <clears throat> possibly his addiction and maybe he wasn't making good choices with this with this Knight of Pentacles energy. Maybe he wasn't making smart choices. <clears throat> Is give me Aaron Carter's energy around the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> it talks about this is a Two of Cups, which talks about friendships, disharmony, disconnection, and balance, inequality, incompatibility, unhappy couples. <clears throat> There was some issues with somebody around him. May I'm not sure if this is re is this related to work or is this just related? Because I know he had issues with the mother of his child. Did this have to do with his career, or was this did this have to do with his home life, where this this harmony? Because it talks about working, but. Clarify this two of cups. <clears throat> he felt defeated. This is the five of swords. It talks about defeat, surrendering, walking away, self-sacrifice, self-sabotaging behavior, underhand behavior, deception, lack of communication, aggression, bullying, intimidation. <clears throat> this might be his energy because he had some issues with the mother of his child and maybe he he might have walked away from like a argument that they had let's see let's keep the two of cups here and This is two of cups here. Is this talking about his relationship, or is this about is this about work? <coughs> we got the death card, spiritual transformation, new beginnings, letting go, endings, ch change, sudden, unexpected, uphill endings which you know he he passed away and it talks about spiritual transformations him going you know over to the other side which we know clarify the death card please clarify the death yeah the three of cups in reverse it talks about overindulgence gossiping overindulgence Partying hard, you know, with people. Um, this is the party card and the friendship card and overindulgence. Like, you know, all of these cards are, are pretty much kind of alluding to 
things that he wasn't supposed to be doing. You know, he was probably doing too much. You know, drinking, possibly. Is there anything else? That we should know about. The night is passing. Yeah, five of swords. It talks about moving forward, moving on, accepting help, healing, forgiveness, rejoining the world. Maybe he wanted to... Because if the Five of Swords talks about, you know, sadness, loss, grief, bereavement, mourning, like someone just really sad. But in reverse, it means they're trying to move forward and, you know, get back. Okay, and we got the King of Pentacles here. A mature, grounded, male, successful, wealthy businessman. Okay. What else? Okay, we got... The Six of Swords, which talks about trouble coming out. It's like a trans, okay. So, when the Six of Swords is upright, it talks about, like, moving form after, you know, a situation happens. Like, you're, you're moving on from that. But, like, in reverse, it talks about maybe going back to, like, things, like, going backwards, Maybe he, he wanted to get into that King of Pentacles energy. What else? Queen of Wands. Energetic, strong, courageous, passionate. Hot tempered. This this who is this female? You got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. What why is this Queen of Wands here? It talks about a missed opportunity, regret. Um, sometimes they might focus on the negative, depression, boredom, remorse, thinking of just thinking maybe about the past. <clears throat> this might be This is the three of wands. Returning travels, moving home, lack of sight. Or lack of planning, like someone that's not really looking forward to. Three of Wands talks about, you know, looking forward to the future, you know, like you're waiting. But Three of Wands just saying like you, you, you have a lack of vision. And then we got this Wheel of Fortune in reverse, which talks about bad luck, disorder, unwelcome change. What else? One more. Yeah, the Ten... <clears throat> The Ten of Cups in reverse, which talks about unhappy home, dysfunctional family, broken home. One more. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups talks about new beginnings. New beginnings, new relationships, new romance. Fertility, pregnancy, what's at the bottom of the deck? <clears throat> the world in reverse, lack of success, stagnation, lack of achievement, disappointment, burden, lack of completion. <clears throat> Yeah. <clears throat> Let me see. Um how does his the mother of his child feel about or how about the people around him? How do they feel <clears throat> about his passing. How do the people around him feel that this has happened? <clears throat> How do the people around him feel about what happened? The 
this talks about the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> it talks about lump sum deeds, trust funds, inheritance. Maybe the people around him are, are possibly just thinking, maybe thinking about money. They might be thinking about money. <clears throat> also, the page of Pentacles in reverse talks about bad news <clears throat> in earthly matters. Bad news in earthly matters, lacking common sense, irresponsible. Maybe they felt, maybe they felt he was irresponsible when they got this bad news that this happened to him. Like, dang, why did, why did he do this to himself? What else? <clears throat> the Ten of Pentacles, I mean, Ten of Cups talks about happiness, family matters. Okay, what about the family? It talks about stability. What else? The lovers in reverse. This might be the mother of his child. Her energy. I'm not going to say she's happy. Okay, this is the Wheel of Fortune Upright, which talks about good luck, destiny, karma, cycles of fate. Maybe she she felt like this was just is because of his choices. Maybe this is why this happened. What else? This is the Eight of Cups in Reverse. But she's having a hard time getting over this. It's getting over. Getting over. Getting over his, his death. What else? It says fear of moving on. Stagnation. This King of Pentacles keeps coming out. This is a Six of Cups in reverse. Which talks about letting go of the past, focusing on the future. <clears throat> but I don't know. When I get the Six of Cups in reverse, I get maybe sometimes somebody's hard, having a hard time you know, letting go of the past. In Upright, it's more like... What else? Six of Wands. Six of Wands Upright talks about victory, but in reverse, it talks about failure, losing. I feel like she's... <clears throat> the magician what else one more <clears throat> talks about travel and movement you know talks about things happen quick <clears throat> she felt like maybe it happened like really it just happened Really fast. Give me one more. One more card. One more card. Or maybe two more cards. King of Wands. King of Cups. <clears throat> this is King Energy. Which can be, you know, Kings can, it can be in a female too. Which talks about being like, Mature emotionally. King of Cups talks about being mature emotionally. King of Wands is someone that's energetic, confident. Okay, one more. Uh, 
This is the t the nine of wands reverse. Refusing to compromise, still made the last one stand and just. This talks about lost opportunities. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I don't think his family is happy that this happened, but maybe they are going to gain from it because people always gain, you know, they always gain and they're going to, you know, move on and do the best that they, they can. Um, let me pull. <coughs> Okay. Is there anything Aaron feels like his family should know, or the people around him, or his fans should know about his death? Any last. Because people really think that it was. They don't think it was an accident. They think that, you know, that it wasn't an accident. Discover your life purpose. Okay. He was trying to discover who he, you know, who he was. Sadness. I'm sorry, let me... Sadness. There's lots of sadness around his death. There was lots of temptations. Temptations. Lots of temptations around him. What else do you want? Do you want your family and people to know? I don't know. Some tell me to pull this card over. Selling out. Selling out. Maybe someone sold him out. Pay attention to the signs. The signs are there. About what happened. And take off your mask. Maybe someone's not being them. Oh, my hand. Maybe someone's not being their true self. And letting go. Somebody let go of a situation. Or needs to let go of a situation or let go of something. What else? I'm going to do one more. Maybe two more. Self-sabotage. Yeah. People want to believe that um, that it wasn't an accident, but, you know, with this self-sabotage card, the self-sabotage card shows, and he, he wants everyone to just have faith. Okay? Have faith. Okay? And at the bottom of the deck is courage. It's courage. Okay, I know people want to believe that it wasn't an accident and that, you know, this had to do with something else, but he, he, um, unfortunately, he was doing things he wasn't supposed to do that led up to his passing and it's really sad um you know i'm really big on not doing you know drugs and stuff like that i've had somebody close to me pass away because of drugs someone very 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 close to me so i understand you know i understand a lot and so, 
I hope that his family can find can find healing, you know, can find healing in this this situation and and just I hope this can help them move forward and get, you know, clarity about what happened and his fans can get clarity on what happened. And um I pray for him and his family, his brother. Um I pray for his brother and all his family. Okay. Okay, you guys, I wanted to use these to ask the questions just so we can get like a hundred percent like clarity just for those who just are just unsure. Was Aaron Carter's death an accident? Oh yeah, and I'm sorry. So when they cross, that means yes. When they open or they're like that, that means no. Was Aaron Carter's death an accident? That means yes. Was it a suicide by accident? Was it a suicide by accident? Was his death a suicide or accidental? Did anybody kill him? Was he murdered? Was he murdered? Okay. Was this caused by drugs? Was this caused by drugs? Okay, you guys. That's your answer. Okay. So, I hope that people find healing in this reading. Um... I just, I wanted to do that too, just for an extra confirmation. Um, you guys have a blessed day.